This video microtopic features a method for setting a round stone in a solitaire ring with platinum prongs. The setting is well engineered for trouble-free, long-lasting wearability. It features upper and lower gallery wires and prongs of sufficient diameter which maximizes platinum's highly desirable strength and overall characteristics. To begin the setting process, check the fit of the stone. Estimate the distance between prongs to remove 40% of the metal to form the bearing. The ideal location of the bearing would be here, just above the upper gallery wire. Scribe the location of the bearing on each prong. In this process, we will use a setting burr and create the bearing simultaneously on all prongs. Lubricate the burr. The setting burr is slightly smaller than the diameter of the diamond, so drifting while creating the bearing will be necessary. Turn the ring regularly to make sure that all the prongs are burred evenly. When you've removed 40% of the metal of the prongs, the stone should just fit it should sit slightly above the upper gallery wire, and it should be level. With this bearing placement, there is 110 to 120% freestanding metal. Deburr the prongs. Remove tool marks. And pre-finish the prongs. Place the stone in the prongs and confirm fit before tacking the stone in place. Bend the prongs incrementally until there are no gaps between the prongs and the stone. Trim and shape the prongs. Shape them using a file with a safe edge, a cup burr, or an abrasive wheel that will not damage the stone. Be sure all the prongs have the same shape and height. Remove any flashing left over from shaping the prongs. Clean up tool marks. Polish and buff the prongs. For this mounting, finished prong contact is 40%. The finished prong height is 90%. This combination of prong contact and height will provide maximum security for the center stone during normal wear.